Good morning guys, this is Sabor aka Mr. Halal Foodie. Today we're heading to Vancouver to try some Pakistani and Indian dishes at uh, Tandoori Palace. So stay tuned, we're going to be uh, showing you the way. We're going to be there shortly to try some of the dishes and show you guys as well as the restaurant. So if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as well as subscribe to our channel. Most of our views come from our uh, viewers who are not subscribed to this channel so make sure to subscribe each subscription saves a dinosaur as well as a unicorn from extinction so it's a good cause guys see you soon Hi guys, so we're finally in Vancouver, we're here outside uh, Tandoori Palace, we're going to head inside, talk to the owner, show you guys the restaurant as well as try some of the food, um, I can't wait, um, I'm hungry, we're just inside, the restaurant has a great aroma, the food smells really good, so I'm excited to try the food, so stay tuned, they're just in the corner of uh, Commercial, I believe, and Grant, so you can see there's lots of restaurants in this area. Everything is buzzing and busy. And I'm excited to go inside and try some of this delicious food. Stay tuned. We're here uh, with uh, Brother Yaz, he's the owner. He's going to tell us a little bit more about uh, the restaurant. We mostly specialize in uh, sheep kebab, chicken tikka, biryani, and uh, we get a lot of people from uh, coming from out of town to just to explore this kebab and naan, biryani. It's very popular. Now. And you also have delivery options too, Yeah, right? we do have delivery options. We do delivery. We do our own delivery. You can order on uh, other website. Right now, we have promotion going on. 10% off on deliveries with uh, free dessert or free soda. You, you can pick which one you like. It's a good deal actually going on right now. It's awesome. And we're getting good response. That's great to hear. What are the business hours? The business hours is open at 12, noon in the afternoon till 11 at night time. And that's uh, seven days a week? Seven days a week. Awesome. We never close. I'm not even any holidays. That's, we always uh, have open. that's uh, awesome. And can you tell us? Uh, your website as well as any social media accounts that you might have like Facebook, Instagram? Uh, Facebook, yes we do have Facebook and Community Balance. You can check out there. We got our you know, menu down there too. And the website? Website, you can check the menu there too. And is that, uh, do you know so what the website is? Tanduri Palace or Okay, inshallah we'll put the uh, address on the bottom so that way the brothers and the viewers everybody that is watching this video can uh, check out your website the menu uh, as well as follow you guys do you have anything else to say to the viewers well, i want you to come and check out my uh, new, new item i'm introducing right now it's called malai chicken tikka you can ask me or my staff if you want if you want a gravy or you want to try because we give them options so, it's a new, day, new dish we're trying right now. Otherwise, our kebab, the regular chicken tikka is very popular here. Butter chicken is very popular as well. And the biryani is uh, top of the line. Perfect. Thank you very, very much, Brother Riaz. Stay tuned, guys. We're going to try the food and we're going to let you know how it is. So, stay tuned.
Here in the kitchen with Brother uh, Riaz, he's uh, showing us, uh, he's making one of the chicken dishes. Which one is this one, Brother Riaz? Malai chicken tikka. Malai chicken tikka. What are some of the ingredients that goes in there? Uh, garlic, ginger, black pepper, lemon pepper, uh, white pepper also, all the peppers in there. And uh, with the, uh, we put a bit yogurt. Okay. And salt, of course. And we add some cashew paste. Mm. So that's a little bit of uh, rich flavor. It smells really good. Yeah. The marinade yeah. smells really good. Yeah. Is this one of your top dishes, where it is? This is the, actually, we're introducing new dishes. Actually, we're trying to introduce people. Okay. Because, uh, this is something we want people to do approve before we can put in menu. Mm -hmm. So what we can do is they can take it Nice. And then we can try to make a nice sauce for it. This one so we get a little bit gravy to it. Okay, okay. I don't know if you can call it garlic. This is garlic. So I'm going to roast this one. Okay. Bring the flavor to it. It's a nice garlic flavor and smell is coming from from the pan. Wow. I feel like I'm in the health kitchen with Chef Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> That's butter? Yeah. Is that garlic too or just butter itself? That's the butter, just the butter. Just the butter. The garlic, if someone asks garlic, we will over the garlic. Oh, okay, okay. That's neat. So this is sauce I'm making it. Uh, this is the sauce. Put a malai tikka. I'm gonna make it. Okay. Can you give me the white paper? Put the line me lagani bol. Sauce. Here actually I have some malai tikka. With, with Malaysian cream, right? Pinch of salt. Now, what are the rest of Yeah. So, the sauce is almost ready. Mm. Uh, I don't know how spicy it is. But uh, I'm gonna add some little green chili to it. Just okay. To bring a little that. Sure. But since you cannot handle it, some people do not handle it. Uh, what's it called? Um, a spice. Spice. So I think I don't wanna add it. Ready? But I think. Our uh, first dish, it's Malay chicken, the chicken, they cook it in the tandoor and then they topped it up with a cream based sauce, so I'm just going to try the sauce. Mm. The sauce is really rich, it's thick, it's creamy, I think with that chicken, actually has made it like a, gives it like a smoky flavor. Wow. It's kind of like butter chicken, but it's not sweet. 
I have butter chicken is because I think they use more tomato there. I think it's because it's creamy, but it's more like on a on a salty side, and that smokiness from the tandoor. Thank you. With the bread. You make it in the tandoor, fresh meat. Wow. It's hot. Chop it out with some butter. Give it a try. I love the bread. It's really crispy, it's fresh, it's hot. And the butter gives it a good flavor. Some more of that onion and the sauce and the veggies. Again, it's got dark ginger in there and uh, pepper, some chili powder, uh, coriander powder, uh, then we got cumin powder, salt, and pepper. Okay, let's make it. And this is going to be cooked in the tandoori as well? Huh? In the tandoori? Okay, let's head over to the tandoori. So we're going to live on the food like this. Ah. So what happened is uh, when it's cooking, it's cooking slowly. Not in high heat. It's mm. in low, low heat. Slowly, slowly. So it cooks properly. We keep turning this one. Okay. We keep turning every two, one minute. We turn it. So it cooks slowly and evenly everywhere. The other one looks beautiful already. Yeah. Oh, this one, yes. Here we got some shish kebab. Mmm, smells really, really good. There's lots of spices. So if you can see, look, they have, um, I think, chili and other herbs, as well as some red chili that they have put on top. That's beside what actually goes inside it. And then we got some chutney and I think yogurt-based uh, sauces. So let's give this bad boy a try. Let's see what it tastes like. So here you can see they got uh, coriander, onion, uh, as well as other herbs and spices inside here. Chef was mentioning ginger and many many other things that go into it. And then on top, they also top it up with more herbs and spices. It smells really, really good. It's really good, Chef. Wow. It's spicy. It's a little bit salty from the spice that they put on top. Yes, yes, it's juicy. And also, like, the skin of it, for example, the cover, the outside is crispy. Outside crispy, inside juicy, spicy, salty, sour. You get all of it in one bite. And I think the best thing is here is the bread. They make it fresh in the tandoor, in the kitchen, here inside the restaurant. With every order, you get some fresh bread. So I think the best thing would be here is to make a sandwich out of it. So you get the fresh bread, you get the shish kebab, you put it in there, and now you got yourself a wrap.
Mm. Wow. Is Trade is checking in here today? As I thought, if you want it more spicier, you dip it in the chutney. If you want to get like a cool, refreshing bite, you put it in the yogurt. Mm. Wow. I think putting that in the wrap is the best. That is chutney. It's just something different. Mm. And the chutney is minty, a little bit sour, and then you get that kick of chili and pan garlic. Overall, wow. Here we got the uh, lamb biryani. It's topped with some uh, fried onions, caramelized onions, and uh, cilantro. And we got some uh, yellow peppers, bell peppers. And here is the lamb. And it's also served with uh, the yogurt sauce right now. So I'm gonna get a little bit of the sauce here, the yogurt sauce. We can put some of the lamb as well as the rice. So let's give this a try and see how it is. We got a piece of the lamb here too. Mm, it smells really good. Wow. The meat just melts in your mouth. It's soft. Look at this. Look. As soon as you touch it, it just falls apart. It's super, super soft. Wow. And the rice. Mm. It's just an explosion of flavor. It's a little bit spicy, but not too much at all. Just a little hint. And then you get a ton of different spices and herbs and aromas. It's just an explosion of flavor. Wow. With that yogurt sauce, wow. It's different because you get different flavors from the rice. And then you get that creaminess, that coolness, as well as the crunchiness from the yogurt. And I think the yogurt has other veggies like cucumber. So you get those nice, cool, crisp bites when you get like a mouthful of the yogurt sauce as well as the rice and the meat. This biryani is on another level. You guys gotta come here and try it out. You guys, here we got uh, gulab jamun for dessert. It has, as you can see, syrup. This is one of my favorites, nice and sweet. We're gonna finish off with some sweet dessert. Here we go. Mm. Just warm, soft, sweet, delicious. I'm gonna wrap the video up here. Don't forget to guys give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, check out Tanduri Palace's Instagram, Facebook, as well as website. And if you guys are ever in the area on Commercial Drive, come down, try their food, you're not going to regret it. Stay tuned for the next review. Until then, take care. If you'd like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your family and your friends. And also, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Through your support, I'm able to create new videos and bring you new content every week.